Well, hello everyone. Today is a lovely day, and I decided today we are going to do an update on this honeysuckle that we started on a few years ago, and or a couple of years ago, excuse me. This was the first air layer there I, that I attempted. Now, before we get into this, I want to warn you guys. The dog over here has been working, so bear with me on that. The kids are playing at school, so you'll hear the kids. And it's a little bit windy today. But rather than being in the house, I wanted to be outside in the sunshine. So, before we get started, let's take some of these rocks out. Pick these out and just set them here on our bench here. Now I have flipped these and put these in. Yes, I think the roots started to grow. I don't know. See, they're starting to cut out, so I wanted to get this repotted before it bursts out into any flowers or anything. I don't really need these, so we're not going to worry about them. Okay, see, this was my first attempt in an air layer, and quite a success. This is full of roots, and it's it needs some work so that's what we're gonna do and I really wanted to see what happened in this pot so that's what we're gonna do today now we'll put it in some new soil but I'm probably gonna put it back into this pot because I don't have any other pot to put it in I don't want to put it in anything bigger I'm gonna keep it like this. So, and this is a pretty decent little plastic pot. So, all right, let's try to lift it up and see what happens. Oh, now look at that, you guys. Not bad. You can see what I did for a drainage last time. So, Let's take a look at this. Let's move this over here so you guys can see what's going on a little better. Ooh. I like how it's just falling away from what's going on here. Okay, so let's get our root rake out. And make sure you hold on to the trunk and rake away from the tree straight away now since I haven't worked with this yet I'm going to take it slow because I don't know if the roots are break, well, they will break easy or not so you got to kind of just work with it and learn about your roots if it's something that you haven't worked with Let's get these weeds out as you go. Let's see if it all comes out. Don't worry about um, breaking roots. You're only going to be breaking the roots that aren't going to be radial. You want your radial roots. But you still want to be gentle enough that you're not going to cause too much havoc. Now see, we have this crazy big root right here that we're going to have to do something about because that's not in proportion with the rest and we're not at the point in this tree's development that we are focusing on any sort of surface roots at this point oh, I'm liking all these roots too Just continue to rate these out. 
feel free to fast forward through this part if you don't want to watch because if you've seen one get raked out you've probably seen them all but I'm not going to fast forward in case you've never seen this before you can watch how we do it and I still watch videos I get I'm actually fascinated by watching it still so there might still be a few of you out there that watch it wow this looks great this is actually a rare white clouded honeysuckle I have the common purple or pink flowered one but I did some reading and the white ones are rare so I'm looking forward to the white flowers this year get all this over here so we can get to this side I've had a lot of people tell me that they like this tree of mine I haven't decided what kind of pot I want for it yet That's a whole new, that's a whole other fun aspect of it. I'm gonna just shake it out a little bit. Move this dirt over a little. I wanna be careful with this because this bark tends to wanna break a little bit. This tree is quite old actually. The tree I got this from it was probably at least between 30 and 50 years old. And oh wow, that looks nice. Nice, nice, nice. We got quite a good root system going here. We did a great job on this. So we can actually bring this up a little bit out of the, out of the soil when we replant this to get show off a little more of the trunk and get more a little bit more of a flare going. That's exciting. I'm really excited about that. We'll actually cut some of these roots down a little bit. After we, yeah, that's what I'm going to do actually. Uh, I'll study this a little bit. See this? Wow, this part is huge. Goes back in onto itself. That one will need to be cut. I'll actually do that right now because it's just too monstrous. We're not quite ready for that. And that one. That's just monstrous. Good golly. But I would say that earlier was a 100 complete success. 100%. Now, there's a lot of roots that went way up, way too high, and we'll cut those away because we want to create a root plane that we want to work from, and we might even start changing the front of the tree, even though my, cons my thoughts on this is your tree should look good at all angles. My ideas on that kind of stuff is a little different than the mainstream bonsai. There's a lot of things about my ideas of bonsai that are quite different. And it's alright. Some of you guys might like my different ideas. 
Okay. Now, another thing I'm going to do, we will lift this up. We're going to cut a bunch of roots down here. So, I'm just going to take our pruners and just straight up cut them. Because we don't, you know we don't need all this down here. And we have a fair amount of feeder root all the way around, as you can see. See that tree? Look at that. This is awesome. I am very pleased with everything that's going on with this tree so far. This is a the first air layer of mine. Now, I just want to take a look at these roots right here. And I want to cut that one. What is that? That's a root way up there. Okay, that's got to go. It's kind of neat, but it's got to go anyway. Alright. They're just, alright, cool. Alright. I think that's most of what I want to do with it right now. It's doing pretty good on its own right now. I'm very happy with it. I did some pretty good cutting right now. I am going to bring it up into the pot. What we are going to do right now is I'm going to go grab some soil and we will be back in just one moment and we will repot this tree so give me just a second okay we're back now and now's the time to repot this tree and what we're gonna do is just get some new soil we're gonna pour it in here about where I think I want it. Now we're just gonna put it about center. Here, let's get you over here. We're gonna put them about center, you know, because it's a round pot and all. And he was off to the side anyway. And let's get some soil poured in here. We'll work it in as we go. Yeah. I'll even use some of this too. It's still good. And with the pandemic going on. I'll reuse a little bit of my soil because there is nothing wrong with it anyway, you know. Gotta think about things like that. Reuse, reduce. And kind of got it about where I want. There's a little bit of roots in here, just pull those out. You know, you don't really need that, but that also doesn't hurt anything. Just kind of give it some support. And then we'll work in the soil into the roots after we... I want to get the soil to the level that I wanted at. But, like I told you, I'm going to, I'm raising the soil level a little bit because it doesn't need to be so deep. This tree's earned some more space. So, just work that soil in. As you work this in, it will become 
more sturdy in the pot. Just go slow. I found that these needles for felting and or not felting, excuse me. Um, this is for knitting. Work really well because they're metal and they don't break down like chopsticks do. And get the really thin ones and you can really get in between those roots and it doesn't do the damage. I don't know. And they last a long time. I'm, I'm all about things that last. <laughs> and it just seems to fit to have something in bone side that lasts a long time too. So. You know, take your time. This is one of the steps that some people don't like to go through. This part. I can go either way, you know, I'll just do it, and I love the water, that's my thing. But you also just, you don't want to leave pockets of air, because that can kill roots. You also just want to anchor your tree in, you want to make it feel secure. It's a living being, that's how I feel about it all. You want it to be happy. Also, like this soil that I just put in, um, it has a little more organic material in it and some bark. And so when I go to put moss in it, and the moss will take a lot better to it, um, especially on the top part of the soil. And like I have more of my inorganic mixture down here so this is like a this is a very free-flowing mix so it will hold what it needs and it will let go of all the stuff that it does not that's why I think I had such great success with this air layer And I actually changed the angle of the tree. If you kind of, um, you can go back and look at the other video, but I have it in a more upright position than it was. So it is kind of standing a little taller than it was. And I'm really digging that. But before, I don't know how many times this tree got knocked over by the dogs, got knocked over by my landlord, um, kicked out of the pot, knocked over by the wind. You name it, this tree went through some stuff. But, it also survived it all. Through all that, that tree, this tree, as you can tell, it's still kicking, still rocking it, and it looks beautiful. So, cannot wait until further along in this summer or spring when it starts to get its foliage and flowers. We'll do another update when that happens, but. There you go, guys. Um, I don't have my turntable out here, but there she goes. And we can put some rocks in. Put its decorative rocks back for looks. It doesn't need it to hold it in. This is just pure for aesthetic. And because this tree likes it. This is my um, rare white honeysuckle um, air layer update. 
Um, let me know what you guys think of what I'm doing with this tree and if you like it, you know. Beautiful day for a beautiful tree to do a repot. Get it in some new soil. Do some root pruning. Root pruning will help it kind of like rejuvenates it. It's not root bound anymore or pot bound. We brought it up higher in the pot. Yeah, I'll probably cut that root back. There we go. Brought it up in the pot. Let's more of the trunk show. Um, kind of just give it some more freedom in the pot. This is still got a ways to go before it's really like a show tree or anything, but it's a beautiful tree. I love this tree. And it got great, great textured on the trunk. It's got lots going for it. See, it's got, I did some work on it a few years ago working on the gin and uh, sherries on it and did some torch work see and did some knife carving on it so it i mean and i like the lichen that's growing on it and just how the whole thing's turning out so well this is Mr. Leslie here at Leslie Bonte Gardens on a beautiful, beautiful day. Rejuvenating our tree, letting him just kind of burst out of this pot a little bit and stretch his roots. And getting ready to burst out and to bud. And I'm glad that you got to share this nice day with me and like and subscribe share your support if it's just give me some comments and um, just share that yeah enjoyed the video I would appreciate that I uh, appreciate that a lot and we shall see you in the next video thank you friends